Miles, obviously things kind of came quickly to an end for you in terms of your season. Can you go back to playing those couple of games and maybe what your body felt, what you were realizing about where you were at that ultimately the decision was to shut you down for the year? Um, yeah, my, my hip felt fine um, leading up to those games. Um, you know, I, I tried to come back as soon as I could. Um, so at, right, right at the four and a half month mark, um, I was cleared by the doctors. Um, the choice for me to stop playing was because after games, my hip just wouldn't heal as fast as what I thought. And um, so I just, you know, shut it down for the rest of the year. Was that kind of a new experience for you? You know, we've talked a lot about how quickly you've recovered from a lot of things, but even this is, you know, a substantial surgery that you had that your body maybe wasn't reacting as fast as you would have wanted to. And what type of mental challenge was that for you? Yeah, um, mentally it was super hard. Um, like what we've talked about a lot, it was a long year. Um, you know, especially when the guys traveled, um, you know, sitting at home and being at the rink all alone, rehabbing, um, it definitely made for a very long year um, in that sense. What are you sort of thinking about? Obviously, you're, you're an RFA going into the summer. Do you worry about not having played this last year? So what's sort of your mentality going into this summer? Um, it's out of my control. Yeah. Um, the only thing that I can control is the, how my hip is and how I um, rehab it throughout the summer and stuff like that. Um, I would love to stay here. Um, I really do think that we have a great core group here. Um, you know, I think we just need a few more guys, a few more, you know, veteran players. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we're, we're super, super close. But I think just right now, I, the only thing that I can uh, control is my hip and um, how, how that is throughout the summer. Where are you in terms of that and knowing that you can't necessarily replicate during the summer the um, intensity of an actual NHL game and wondering where your hip is in terms of, after a game recovery, how do you how do you sort of operate under that for the summer? Um, Stack and Joe here, um, they're going to set me up with a program, um, so it's it's very hard. Mm -hmm. um, like I did the rehab skates here, and I tried as hard as I can to replicate a game, but once you're back in the game, it's a whole different beast, and um, it's really hard to replicate, you know, the NHL pace in practice and uh, off ice stuff. Do you believe that with the trajectory of your recovery that come training camp next year, Miles Wood is back to being Miles Wood? I have no doubt, yeah. Um, the surgery that I had, it usually takes six to eight months for the hip to fully heal. Um, and the doctors so far have um, no problem in saying that I'll be back um, to my old ways soon. Perfect. Thank you, Woody. Zoom. Oh, Zoom? Yeah. Okay. Next question to Mike Morial, NHL.com. Hey, Miles. Um, Miles, how does this team change the narrative of four straight playoff misses and nine of the past ten? How do we change it? Yeah. Um, like I said, I think we're a few players away um, from being uh, a playoff team. Um, it's great to be young, but I, I feel like um, we were almost too young this year um i think we were, we were the youngest team in the league by a few years and um like i said i, I think we're a few vet veteran players away from being a good team and I, I would imagine that not only yourself but a lot of the players you kind of understand the frustration from the fans point of view huh um if it's frustrating for you guys it's even more frustrating for us as players um you know, throughout my whole life, from five years old all the way up until I've been 21, I've played on great teams. And the last six years here, um, except the one playoff year that I played in, uh, it's certainly been frustrating, um, if I'm being transparent about it. Um, hockey is a lot more fun when you win. And uh, as a fan, I do get that, you know, they're frustrated. But as hockey players, it's even worse. Thanks for that, Miles. Thanks.